Hey guys, so I want to do a quick review and tell you guys um, five or six things you should know about the fragrance uh, by Rito's Bal d'Afrique. And the reason I'm going to do it um, in this format instead of like a, a full detailed review is because I got this fragrance and um, I was a bit surprised, uh, not disappointed, but surprised because it's not exactly what I expected. Um, not that, not saying that it's bad, you know, this is, you probably already know, um, gets, you know, a ton of positive reviews. Um, so anyway, before we get into it, let me just tell you briefly about the house. Um, so Byrito, I believe is a house uh, based in Stockholm, Sweden. Um, they were founded in 2008, um, so relatively new fragrance house. And this one was one of their earliest um, releases uh, coming out in 2009. Let's get into the things that you should know about this before you pull the trigger and buy it. So uh, the first thing is that this is one of the Bal de Frique is one of the more popular and well-known fragrances from Byrito. Uh, you may have heard of other ones like Gypsy Water and Pulp. This is one of those that's talked about a lot. Um, so it's right up there. And <clears throat> along with that, this is a very safe scent, right? So if you're looking to uh, find a gift for somebody or if you absolutely have to blind buy, this is pretty safe. You know, you're not going to dislike it and nobody's going to dislike it. In fact, a lot of people will be wowed by it. Um, it's a very delicious scent. <clears throat> so the second thing is has to do with um, the scent and you know, the note that most people uh, mention a lot and the note that, that gets talked about the most is vetiver. Um, and it is in the description on their website as well, like a, as a vetiver inspired fragrance. But this is where, you know, I was a bit surprised because <clears throat> it's not a vetiver centric uh, fragrance. So you may get that idea if you hear too many people mentioning vetiver, but I actually see this um, as more like a fruity floral fragrance uh, and the vetiver definitely is there and definitely plays a, a, a crucial role. Yeah, so Rogues 08 I think put it the best way. You know, the vetiver is definitely there from the start, but it's so faint, so subtle, and yet it really provides this uh, fragrance with a backbone um, and, you know, also gives it a bit more class than it just being a very simple fruity floral summer scent. Um, and I totally agree with that. There's something about it where you go, okay, this is, uh, it smells expensive and classy, all right? Um, but I would say that actually the other notes in the base like cedarwood, there's cedarwood in here, actually plays uh, an equal role as the vetiver. Um, and I don't see that note sort of mentioned a lot um, by people, but it gives it the extra sort of, sort of woodiness, um, in addition to the earthiness from vetiver and it gives it a little more woody sweetness as well in the in the base um, but again overall a very fruit based scent very fruity very tropical um, and just a very sweet scent actually so the next thing the third thing that you should know is that this smells very natural um, so it definitely smells high quality um, and and so i think you are not going to offend people who don't like fragrances because this has a very natural feel to it. It's very soft and mellow um, and just a nice thing to smell in the air. Um, <clears throat> it also at the same time then performs as an EDP. You know, it is an EDP. It's rich and it's, it's very, it lasts a long time, but it doesn't project so much. It's a very soft, again, fr fragrance that's going to sit closer to your skin. Um, so that's something to know, you know, uh, when you initially spray it, yes, it will sort of fill the room, but once it dries down, it's not going to be, uh, it's going to be a relatively subtle scent overall. Fourth thing, uh, to know, I sort of alluded to, uh, is that this is a relatively sweet scent and it's, it was sweeter than I expected it. Um, you know, based on sort of the vetiver mention and, and the notes and the description and the name of the fragrance, but this is a very kind of, yeah, juicy, syrupy, like honeyed kind of sweetness. Um, you know, the top notes here, the fruit notes and floral notes are, are marigold, bergamot, lemon, um, and I get some sort of uh, orange blossom as well. So as a result of this being, you know, quite a sort of 
fruity, juicy fragrance. Uh, it's definitely enjoyable, but this is more sort of playful and has more of a playful and romantic character rather than being a very professional, crisp kind of scent. Um, in case that's what you're looking for, um, this is not in that direction. Um, it is versatile in the sense that, you know, it doesn't fit into any one season. It could be, uh, it's a fruity smell for the summer, but it's got enough depth and weight to it for the slightly colder months. Um, it's not the best for winter, I think. Um, it just, you know, it's a bit too, uh, I guess, bright and, and, and fruity for, for a winter fragrance. And the last thing you have to know is the price on this, right? So this full um, 100 ml bottle is gonna cost you $270 and the 50 ml is still quite pricey, like $190, $200. And I just think that, you know, a lot of people say the price is justified based on how, how good this smells, right? It's a 10 out of 10 smell and whatnot. But I just think that it's, um, for the price, it's a bit simplistic. Uh, you know, so if you're looking for something that's just gonna be mind blowing and complex, this is not it. This is sort of blending things that you already know, uh, taking it to a very high quality and making it smell natural um, and appealing. And, and that's about it, right? There, there's not, um, and, and it's well blended for sure, but there, it's not a very complex scent. The one thing that this has going for it is that use, very interesting use of vetiver um, in the most subtle way, right? And vetiver is typically not used this way, and so that's what makes this unique. But overall, um, it doesn't have a huge, uh, I think, I don't know, huge uniqueness about it. Overall, it's sort of simple in my opinion. All right, so um, let me know what your experience is with Balda Freak and other fragrances in the house. I actually haven't tried Gypsy Water and that's probably what I want to try next. Um, the notes confuse me. I don't. I really wonder what it smells like. Um, so you guys let me know if that's worth buying, if you think it's better than this, uh, if that's the best one. All right, and I'll see you next time.